hi guys welcome to shakes youtube channel uh, please subscribe like give a comment and share with your friends today we're going to look at uh, sql constraints sql constraints All right we do have a number of constraints but we want to know what is it that we call a constraint when do we use it when do we implement it when do we use it All right so um, the purpose of an SQL constraint is to specify a rule for data in a table so all the constraints that we have in SQL statements they define or they specify rules for data in a table and when do we specify SQL constraints that's the question here is asking in an SQL query where do I write my constraint you can write it or you can put it when the table is created with the create table statement or you can put it after the table is created with the outer table statement that is you are trying to modify your table and here is the syntax we are saying create table i've uh, indicated how we can uh, create a table if you want to know how to create a table you may refer to my previous video on how to create a, a, a database how to create an object but eventually you may we may come across uh, the SQL statements that we used in the previous video right so this is the syntax you say create table and these are the keywords you put the table name here I may say Shakespeare Martin that's the name of my table but um, objectively I may say create table employee so the, 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 the table is given the name employee and inside the brackets the kept brackets we will be having our columns column number one data type for example uh, employee name uh, variable character that's the data type and the number of characters that I'm going to have for that uh, column then I now specify the the constraint for example not now uh, or primary key and so forth so this is these dots are just meant to show you that you may have several columns more than three columns so as you go you may specify the constraint but sometimes you may leave your columns without uh, constraints all right so common sql constraints we have uh, several common sql constraints that we have uh, we have uh, not now we have not now but unique let me add some flesh to each and every constraint that we have uh, constraints are used to limit the type of data that can go into a table this ensures the accuracy and reliability of the data in the table if there is any violation between the constraint in the data action the action is aborted so with the now with not now uh, constraint we are ensuring that a column cannot have a now value each and every column cannot have a now value each and every column that is having this constraint cannot have a now value what is it that we are saying is now value now value means we don't have a value for this column we don't have a value for this column for example let's say we are having employee name as a column but we don't have the, 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 the let me say we are having uh, first name column second name column and then last name column and the person does not have a second name which is the middle name so we say this middle name is now 
it's not zero but it's now it's not empty space but it's now so by now we mean we don't have a value a zero is a value an empty space is a value but when we say now we mean there's nothing we don't have a specific value that's why when we want to check whether a column is having a, a now value or a not, we cannot use uh, comparison operators like greater than or equal to because we cannot compare nothing to a value. But with now, you use is now to, to check if a column is having, uh, is having a value or is, it doesn't have a value. So we use is now or is not now. Right. So the not now is uh, is the is the first constraint that we want to look at. Right. Let me just open the previous uh, SQL statements that we have worked with. So the not now is let me zoom it um, so that you may see. Right. Not now. This is not now. Is our not now constraint. So by default, a column can hold now values. The not now constraint enforces a column to not accept now values. This enforces a field to always contain a value, which means that you cannot insert a new record or update a record without adding a value to this field which is having not now constraint this one on email address we cannot add an employee who doesn't have an email an email address we cannot have an employee who doesn't have a number number or a, a phone number so not now it means there is no value and we are saying we don't want a, 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 a column to, to to have no value then we go to the second one which is uh, unique unique what it means with unique is this we are saying the value in this column is unique we cannot have uh, the same value we cannot have the same value being used by any other record so by uh, in other words we are saying a unique constraint is used to uniquely identify a record it uniquely identifies a record therefore if we use not now and unique it means that column it means that column is a candidate key by candidate key what do you mean uh, we mean to say that key can possibly that key can possibly uh, be a primary key the key the 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 the, 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 the column with uh, not now and unique we are saying phone number or this phone column is possibly a primary key or can act as a primary key so we, we already have EC number as our primary key and this one now is a candidate key or an uh, alternate key because we can alternate we can choose it as an alternate uh, primary key so we are saying phone is not now it's unique so it can uniquely identify a record so that's uh, that's uh, unique primary key we all know a primary key but i'm going to say uh one two three things i'm going to say a few things about uh, primary key so a primary key it uh, a primary key constraint uniquely identifies each record in a table it uniquely identifies each record in a table uh primary keys must contain unique values it cannot contain none uh, now values a table can have only one primary key and in the table uh, this primary key can consist of single or multiple columns by columns we are referring to attributes some may 
love to call them attributes, some love to call them fields. So a, a, a primary key uniquely identifies each record in a table. So that's it, I will show you when we have used it. So primary key ensures entity integrity. We have foreign key. Uh, with foreign key, what it does is that um, a foreign key enforces referential integrity. We are seeing the primary key in another table. The primary key in another table is a foreign key in another table. So a foreign key is a key used to link two tables together. It is a field or collection of fields in one table that refers to the primary key, which is in another table. Let me just give an example. Let's say a Zimbabwean person is in uh, South Africa. We can actually say this person in South Africa is a Zimbabwean because on nationality, we can see that he is sharing the same nationality with someone who is in here. So we are linking uh, that person in South Africa with someone who is in here by the use of nationality. So he's a Zimbabwean, but in South Africa, here I'm a Zimbabwean. I, I, I do have a, a Zimbabwean as my nationality. Or let's say a senior. A senior appearing in this table or also appearing in another table. We are saying this person is a child of this parent because this child is sharing the same surname with this parent uh, person. Then we have a uh, check. Check is used. Uh, check is used to, to ensure that the values that are being entered by the user they fulfill a certain criteria. For example, you want to register users or users that buy beer in your in your club or in your bar, what you do is you check the age. You check the age. For instance, you say you have your, your all your columns and then at the end you say check and in brackets we say age greater or equal to 18. That's uh, a typical example. Then we have uh, default. Yeah, with the default, what we are doing is we are saying a default constraint, it is used to provide a default value for a column. For example, we, 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 it's a country column. So by default, we are saying here in Zimbabwe, all systems that we are going to use here in Zimbabwe, the default uh, value for country column is Zimbabwe. So if you fail to put a value on country, by default, it's going to be given uh, Zimbabwe as the country or nationality. So that's default. Then uh, we have uh, index. Let me open index. Yes. The index constraint uh, or the create index statement is used to create indexes uh, in tables. Indexes are used uh, to retrieve data from the database more quickly than otherwise. The users cannot see the indexes. They are, we, they are just used to speed up searches or queries. Right, so this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are the common SQL constraints. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how we use these uh, SQL constraints. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, 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 so that these videos are recommended for you by YouTube like comment uh, share with your friends colleagues and family members who are doing the same uh, topics
or who are doing the same uh, program with you right goodbye enjoy the rest of your day